This next bout of the evening is brought to you by Rich Brook Furniture and takes place over three rounds at a catch weight of 74 kilos. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he's representing SVG Charlestown and brings into the cage a record of one win and four defeats. Please welcome Alex Fagan! Please welcome his opponent fighting out of the red corner representing SVG Nace. He brings into the KJ record of five wins and four defeats. Give it up for Nikolai Shiropoo! Paul Brown can now add an in cage interviewer to his Your Fighting Championship jobs. Jesus, after headbutting the cage there with that take the, 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 the cage nearly fell over, Andrew. Yeah. Shiopu does this, does this. He gets a hold of fighters, gets them to the floor. Five and four record, Shiopu. Five stoppage wins, four decision losses. If you can drag him through three rounds, you have a good chance of coming out on top. But he can finish a fight. He actually won three fights by TKO in the space of eight days in March. Two, two over one weekend at the Nationals, and then again the following week on Cage Conflict. Alex Fagan's fifth appearance in this promotion. He's a really, really effective, exciting striker, but in this position, one of Shiopu's favourite positions, this scarfold position. Uh, Alex is keeping his elbow glued incredibly tight here. I think he knows that's going to be the secret. Yeah. You know, because he has an underhook, and if he can start to get this elbow out from underneath, he is going to pop out here, but there could be an armbar here. Shiopu has won so many fights in this position. Fagan needs to create this scramble. Brilliant work by Alex Fagan. Excellent work. Shiopu looks like he's about to 
tear his calf muscle here by extending his legs like that yeah. to keep Fagan's arm He's putting a there. lot into that crucifix to him. Mm. And he, want, he wants to keep this headlock because I think he believes that he can continue this rotation up yeah. onto his left elbow now and then counter him again and we've bring him up and over. We've seen him in this position so many times, like well, mostly from the top in that scarf hole and then that crucifix. He loves it. It's obviously one he favours a lot. Still trying to keep it, but I think Fagan's going to get that right arm out of that crucifix any moment. The elbow's sliding. I think it's yeah, just there. Very good work by Fagan because when a couple of those bombs dropped in that scarf hole position, it looked for a moment like it could be the beginning of the end, but... Yeah, in between the bombs dropping and the hyperextension of the arm mm. that, was, that was going on. It was precarious. He through that quite well. Nice shoulder crunch type position here from Shiapu. Fagan has a 1-4 record, but three, three decision losses to Jordan Scully, Jake Gilp and Dewey Harrison. When you look back at those fights, like that's actually, you know, he's been tested by a lot of really good fighters. So maybe the record doesn't tell you exactly how good he is, you know? Yeah, I don't sounds like a terrible thing to say because obviously we like to hype up certain people who are doing well or on a streak like use our main exa our main event as an example Conor McCarthy has a quite an impressive amateur record but you know you, you should also take into consideration of like how did these people lose and who were the fighting yeah you know uh, you, you could amass a 5-6-0 no record as you go straight to the mount here Alex Fagan, Fagan but Shiapu has got one leg in front nicely to get up on top. Oh, some interesting grappling exchanges in this first round. I, you know, like we're we're looking for how the how the person fights, uh, who they fought against, the level of the quality of the person that they fought against. Yeah, I remember very clearly a good bout here between Jake Gilpin and Alex Fagan, and I think it ended in a split decision to Gilpin. And we've seen Gilpin go on now and win a couple of different titles yeah. in a couple of different organisations and look super impressive well, since unfortunately not able to defend the, yeah. the lightweight title tonight yeah. a speedy recovery to him uh, yeah. we, have a, we have a late 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 notice step in against Adam McEnroe that we'll chat about later on a very very late notice because yeah. he, he, was, he was barely confirmed when I came into the building today but um, I mean Alex Fagan like I said he's been in there with some, some really excellent fighters but that one against Jake Gilpin when you look at what Gilpin's done since, that really highlights, in my eyes, how talented Alex Fagan is. And Shiopu is a fighter I'm very, very high on. He's a guy who really tends to get, as I said, get the job done with five finishes already to his name. So this is a great test for both guys. Neither has an easy opponent in front of them. Lovely slip and shot to deliver there by Fagan to start around the slip. May prove costly. Look, look how quickly Shiopu goes to that, that um, tries to go to that scarf hole position but Fagan did well just to stop him getting past the legs you can see he just desperately wants to get to the scarf hole every time it hits the floor Waiting to see who who goes with the next move here. A little stalling going on, possibly a little bit from both fighters. Considering what we saw um, in the Fitzpatrick. Spin for the armbar by Alex Fagan, and he has it, and he gets the tap. What a finish by Alex Fagan here in the second round. You know, I had just looked down at my list so I'd get the name correct, and I was going to say, for what we saw from a stand-up in the Warren Savage and Ryan Fitzpatrick's fight, Shiapu holding that position yeah. and not trying to progress in any yeah. way, that's what can happen there. That's a wonderful, wonderful finish here from wow, Alex Fagan. lightning quick I transition. have it on the second screen here. I'm going to look through it while Paul Brown is on the way to make this official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes after 55 seconds of the second round. Your winner by submission due to an armbar.